Welcome to Fantasy Victory Now. The big news of the week, Adrian Peterson was deactivated, then reactivated, and for now he's away from practices and games until his legal case in Texas is resolved. So, Paul, what does this mean for Matt Asiata? Yeah, and, and well, before we get to Asiata, I just I don't I don't know that we have to end up waiting entirely for the Peterson case to get completely resolved. The Vikings could bring him back anytime, and they may just wait for the 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 heat to die down a little bit on this story, and we might see Peterson back in a month. I mean, I, no way would I drop Adrian Peterson. I think there's a better than 50% chance he plays again this year, and maybe even a 25% chance he plays within a month. So, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know that they're going to wait in for the full legal process on this, which would go till 2015. <laughs> exactly. But in the meantime, Matt Asiata yes. is the bell cow in Minnesota. Yes, Had a pretty respectable outing against the Patriots, both in the running game and the passing game, found the end zone. Yes, and, you know, three games over the past season for Matt Asiata, in which he got a lot of work. Week 15 of last year, three touchdowns. Week 17 of last year, 100-yard rushing game. And then last week, scored on a reception. Matt Asiata is a quality, not necessarily a fantasy starter, but he is a flex option. He is a third running back on your team. And, you know, it, it, Jarek McKinnon is not going to be a factor. Asiata, what I like about Asiata is he's a, he's a tough inside runner. He's strong. He's got good vertical speed. He's not somebody you're going to want to stretch a defense wide with. But when he's going north-south, a little bit like he did, Mike, after the catch last week when he caught the ball and they just sprinted to the end zone, Matt Asiata's got good speed that way, and so I, I think he's a capable, capable fantasy starter in the right situations. Another guy severely impacted by the current loss of Adrian Peterson, Cordero Patterson. When I was watching the New England game last week, they just seemed to really clue in on him, want to take him out of the game, yeah. made him a valuable decoy, but what does this mean to Cordero Patterson as a wide receiver and as a rusher? Well, you would think with Peterson out that the, the Vikings would work that much harder to get Cordero Patterson into the game plan, and he had four targets and no rushes. So that was a little bit confusing. And one of the things that Bill Belichick always does, he likes to take away the thing you want to do most. And, you know, without Adrian Peterson, that's clearly Cordero Patterson. Belichick took that away. I think the Vikings respond, and Patterson plays a much bigger role this week and future weeks. Have to. I mean, with Adrian out, this is now, you know, a, this offense now needs Patterson as their big play player, the guy that can give you, can stretch defenses a lot of different ways. Yeah. Now, Wes Welker, another guy with some off-the-field issues. Yeah. He looks like he's going to be back on the field this Sunday. Is Wes Welker startable this week? He's startable this week. And you, know, you might say, hey, tough matchup with Seattle. Wes Welker's rusty. You know, I don't want to play him. But keep in mind, he's at full health. He's 100% healthy. And he's been in this offense for a long time. He knows his role. This isn't like he's dropping in new, fresh. And he goes up against Seattle. So you, there's a temptation to think, well, it's Seattle. So I don't want to play him. But... Keep this in mind. Welker's going to play the slot. The position that has the most success against Seattle is the slot receiver, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, lining up on the outside where you get Richard Sherman or you get Byron Maxwell. Those are the guys you want to avoid. You want to be the slot guy who has a lot of success. Viking fans will remember Jarius Wright scoring two touchdowns out of the slot against Seattle when they played last. Without Wes Welker, Peyton Manning a lot of times going early and often to Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah. What does Welker's return mean for Emmanuel Sanders? It's going to hurt Emmanuel Sanders a lot. And, you know, Sanders is, I'm not saying drop him, but Wes Welker gets so much attention in this offense, everybody else's numbers go down some, but you figure Demarius Thomas is too good to have his numbers severely impacted. Julius Thomas is a tight end. His numbers won't be severely impacted. But Emmanuel Sanders, he's an easy guy to take more out of that rotation. The week three running back rankings are posted at fantasyvictory.com. Joyke Bell, a name yeah, in that top ten. You that? like him this week. I do like him this week. You know, look, here's the thing about Joyke Bell I think a lot of people tend to miss. He's the, he's the best back on this team. You know, Reggie Bush is really very rotational, only a guy you'd ever want to start at home. Joyke Bell's your every week guy. He gets goal line work. He gets tough yards, leads the team in rushing attempt, rushing yards, rushing touchdowns. Joyke Bell quietly is a, is a good player in this against Green Bay is a great matchup. I mean, keep in mind, Green Bay has been run through by power runners through two weeks. We had the big game against uh, Seattle and Marshawn Lynch where he, he destroyed the Packers, and then Chris Ivory as well with a very big game against the Packers. Joint Bell's built, built just like that. So, yeah, those are guys. Now, does the matchup dictate which Lions running back you go with week to week, or do you think Joint Bell is still shoulders above 
where Reggie Bush 14 is. out of 16 weeks, Joyke Bell is going to get the nod. There's going to be a couple of home games against teams that really struggle to defend speedy players and maybe running backs who catch a lot of passes where Reggie Bush will be the better play, but Joyke Bell is going to be the guy almost every week. There you go. All the running back rankings and all the quarterback, wide receiver, tight end rankings, you can get them all right now at fantasyvictory.com. Remember to keep checking them all the way up until kickoff on Sunday as Paul makes his tweaks.